Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm a little bored, so I figure I'll make a video, a few updates, and of course I gotta start up with this beautiful girl. Um, I changed some of the snakes to a different substrate this weekend. Uh, this is a mixture of um, cypress mulch and reptile bark. And I only did that for the snakes that usually make a mess. Um, so yeah, this one, this snake, um, when she was on paper, she would like completely turn up the paper, make a mess. So I figured, you know what, she likes to dig. So I gave it, I gave her a better substrate so she can dig around and be happier. Um, of course, this is a pastel calico produced right here at the hive. Gorgeous snake. She's growing, growing super fast, man. I believe she's like 700 grams already. This is a uh, really nice, really clean male Enchi. Produced by Mark Petros of ballpython 777com one of the I think you know what I think I'm gonna breed this guy to the pastel calico once she's ready another update is this beautiful lesser platinum um, she is well over 1900 grams now and I got this girl from Josh damn what's his last name Boltwell something like that she was a little tiny girl when I got her but 1900 grams later she has some beautiful colors Really, really gorgeous girl. I don't think their camera is grabbing her colors that good. Because her darks are really intense and so are the yellows. So it pronounces a really good uh, con contrast. And one of the girls that is making my life impossible. Is this almost two and a half year old fire girl that is really picky? She only likes to eat, uh, to eat uh, African soft rats, soft fur rats, or ASFs. But yeah, this girl should have been breeding since last year, but like I said, I don't breed those Africans so. She only eats twice a month when I go to the shows and get some for her. And she usually eats uh, three at a time. And she looks hungry now. Hungry for the camera. Which is good. Hopefully she go... Um, uh, next season. And one that I'm really happy how she's turning out as well is... This beautiful vanilla Mojave. And um, she's probably the main reason why I put my other Mojave for sale. Because I don't know if you notice, I don't like to have that many morphs of this, uh, that many snakes of the same morph. So, you know, I try to keep the collection small. So maybe one or two girls the most of the same morph. 
but yeah her colors are really getting nice you can actually see the vanilla getting lighter and lighter as she gets bigger and um, really good looking project I got a special boy for her next season as well this is another problem snake but uh she's coming along she started eating small rats now she also likes ASF but uh, she's eating small rats she's in shed this is a yellow belly we'll be breeding my specter once she is I don't know, maybe like 300 grams bigger. And. what well, I think that it's it. I'm just waiting for. this girl to drop eggs. She shed. Um, a few days ago. I believe it was the 10th. So. And 30 days from now, actually 28 days from now, we have some more eggs and she was bred to the calico male, um, to the low white calico male that produced this beautiful girl last year. So I'm hoping to make more of these and I'm really hoping for a male. Um, that's about it. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do some um, X candling video next time. Talk to you guys later.